Welcome everybody to the App Show. I really do like our new office. Yeah, the future of working is finally here and there's one key piece of technology that's transforming our working lives. Working while reclining might not always be a reality, but voice typing is an amazing improvement in dictation software. Let's show you how to set it up. In Google Docs, go to Tools and select Voice Typing. It may work immediately, or you might get this message. Google Docs can't turn on your microphone, in which case you'll need to set up permissions in Chrome Settings. Click the Chrome menu that looks like a hamburger on the browser toolbar. Select Settings, then click Show Advanced Settings. Scroll down to the Privacy section and click Content Settings. In the Media section, select the top option. Ask when a site requires access to your camera and microphone. You may need to reopen the document so that it registers the new permissions. So let's switch it on. The pop-up microphone box appears, and when I'm ready to speak, I click it or press Control shift s or Command-Shift-S on a Mac. Now everything I say is written on the screen. That is so cool. It understands me at this pace, comma, what if I try to speak really, really fast? Will it fall over, or will it really keep up? Ah, there's the results. If you speak too fast, it can't keep up. It understands common punctuation, period, new paragraph, and useful items like question mark, new line, and comma, others like exclamation point. It works best in a quiet location. It might get confused if this we both speak at the same time. To correct mistakes, just move the cursor to where you want to insert new text, and it will start typing from there. If it says it's having difficulty hearing you, you might want to try an external microphone, like in a headset. So we've seen voice typing works on a Chrome browser. It also works on Android and iOS devices, depending on the model type. So to check, first open up Docs and look for the voice icon in the keyboard. If it's not there, open the Settings app, then choose Language and Input. Make sure that Google Voice Typing has a check mark. Then go back to Docs and see if the microphone icon has appeared on the keyboard. If not, just check your keyboard settings. If the mic symbol is there, touch it and it will work pretty much like the computer version. A large range of world languages are supported. You can change your language in a document by clicking File, then selecting Language. You can see the range of choices here. This is a great accessibility feature, so let us know how you use it. One of my favorite uses for voice typing is transcribing information from another source. I use this a lot for taking notes while reading over products. This episode is about us sharing some of our experiences of using Google Apps in onboarding. Welcome on board. I recite the parts I want and then go back and add headings and work on the layout. I've used this in a similar way when transcribing from a video. With my headphones in, I simply set up the voice typing, and when I hear a section in the video I want to note, I just speak it without having to stop the video to transcribe. The best way to work out if voice typing will help your workflow is to try it. If you use a lot of specialized punctuation, it might be great for getting the words down, but you'll probably have to go back and edit. You definitely need to proofread your work, because it can confuse words sometimes, like Q. It could be the letter Q, a pull Q, or you're waiting in the Q, like a line. Um, like, I didn't realize that I had, like, so many verbal tics until I started using voice typing. Noted. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to share, and we'll see you next week. Equally necessary is helping new employees feel welcome and part of the workplace culture. In a study by the Winhurst Group, People who are part of a structured onboarding process were 58% more likely.